Hi there, I'm Dr. Jesse Moss, and we are gonna talk about something called pes anserine bursitis today. So I'm a sports medicine doctor and I see a lot of different types of knee injuries, but they're not always straightforward. Some people think it's the knee, but in actuality, it may be a little bit lower than the knee and, and they just know that they're in pain and don't want it to be there anymore. So I have my trusty model here and I'm gonna show you exactly what is going on, why it happens, and how to fix it. So something called pes anserine bursitis is inflammation of a small little bursa, which is almost like a little fluid-filled sac on the inside of the knee. So this is the outside of the knee. You can see over here with the small bone on the outside. The inside of the knee, we have the knee joint here. This is the kneecap right here. And then as we go down, this Hot spot right here, where, is the, where we call the MCL. Uh, so, but we want to target the outside of the leg. So we're going to we're looking at the outside of the leg and say, all right, where is my pain? If my pain is on the outside of the leg, this isn't it. If my pain is on the inside of the leg. We may have something here. If it is lower than the joint, so we're we're talking a little bit lower and on the inside of the leg and it's tender there, that's likely pes anserine bursitis. So why is this happening? So this spot is actually where a couple things come together. The MCL comes down and attaches into the bone, but also the hamstring muscles come in and attach over here as well, almost all of them. Uh, one of them goes on the outside. So three come in the inside and one goes on the outside. What happens is this little bursa, this little fluid filled sac is getting pulled and this is a very tender area. So there's a couple things you can do to get rid of it. You can foam roll it out. You can get a, a, a tissue massage. Uh, stretching your hamstrings is, is quite effective. Sometimes you need to do a little work with a physical therapist. And if someone wants it to go away uh, uh, quickly, you can always inject a little bit of cortisone in there. But there's a chance that once the cortisone wears off, and you don't correct the issue with physical therapy, it may come back. At that point, you'd probably consider something along the lines of maybe a PRP injection uh, or something like that where you finally get it to, to calm down and go away. It's a frustrating injury. It is not at the joint level, so it doesn't have anything to do with arthritis or meniscus or anything, but it feels like it is because it's just below that on the inside of the knee. I hope you, this was helpful. Be sure to give us a like and check out some of our other videos. Take care.